Hi, what's up guys? I'm Choki from Legion Effects and today we are with a new tutorial uh, on the motion graphics template feature using the essential graphics panel uh, on Adobe After Effects. Today we prepared, uh, I prepared this one. It's a map generator that I prepared on After Effects and I exported it to Adobe Premiere Pro. As you can see here, we have uh, the map, we have an animation of the camera, and uh, the idea behind that is like you can call the countries that you prepared or the location that you prepared on your template by just typing, typing the text here, typing the name of the country. For example, we go the case of France. Okay. And as you can see, the country is highlighted. The map of the country is highlighted with a marker here near the capital city of the country and we have the text here. More advanced things that uh, we did in this template and we'll see in the tutorial is uh, we, got, we can change the color, the background color, the map color and the grid color here and even we can hide or just show the grid behind. Um, and you can do a lot of things with this template. Uh, we prepared also the case of, um, for example, Tunisia. And uh, Egypt. Okay. Uh, Australia. Okay guys, let's move to After Effects and see what we can do there. Hi, for this tutorial I prepared a PSD file containing some layers that I will use uh, for my uh, motion graphic template. Uh, I prepared the background, uh, a map, and a bunch of countries like masks so after that I will use them as a mask for my adjustment layer and uh, one element like marker that I will use on the maps so once I prepare the PSD file I save it and I open it on After Effects before starting I want to mention that this tutorial will be a little bit long and um, I will use uh, like some advanced features uh, like expressions like to make some links inside between the maps and everything so uh, at the end we'll get our uh, mogul file or motion graphic template file with all the feature needed uh, to switch like uh, the effect is based all this template is based on the effect that you can call the map just with a text so on Adobe Premiere Pro you will use for example if you want the map and the text for uh, the map of Tunisia, just write Tunisia and you'll get everything with all of the additional controls and options like to change the color, the background, the opacity and some checkbox to switch between for example the grid, the map and everything. Okay, let's start. First of all we have to start a new session of, of Adobe After Effects and double click on the project panel and we import our prepared file on Photoshop. Uh, we import it as a composition, we retain the layer size. Uh, once the file is imported, you will notice that the file is a little bit huge, it's a high resolution file. In our case here I have it like 16,000 16, pixels. Uh, let's uh, discover our layers, so we have the background, we have the map, and we'll start working on for example this one the first map which is Egypt before starting uh, let's uh, resize our composition composition setting settings and here we will choose for example HTB 1920 by 1080 okay we'll turn on the 3d layers for the 3d layer for now that I will be working on that and we'll add a new camera uh, 
Okay. Uh, let's move our scene toward the desired triangular view. In our case, it will be this map. Okay. In this first part, we will uh, work on how to create all the needed scenes, like uh, a scene for every country, and uh, after that we'll uh, manage how to add the expressions to link, for example, between uh, the text and the position of the map or the position of the camera, and uh, at the end we'll, uh, <coughs> we'll start creating really our uh, motion graphic template on our essential graphics window. Okay, let's move on. So for this one, uh, the effect that I will try to create now, or just to, to add now, is like I will make, uh, like this map is blinking, for example, just with a highlight. So for that, I will add a new adjustment layer. And on this uh, adjustment layer, I will move it down under the uh, desired layer, Egypt in our case. We'll rename it um, Highlight Egypt, Age Egypt. And uh, we'll hide for now the map uh, to see the effect. And we'll just color correction, exposure. Okay. So now we'll use the map of Egypt as a mask to do that we'll hit f4 and we'll use that layer alpha inverted map so we have this effect so <coughs> the adjustment layer is only affecting outside of the map and the map will show the original uh, exposure level of all the map okay so uh, now i will add just uh, a little bit of motion of the camera so for that I have to put like the first keys here <coughs> first key frames like I'll adjust my view and after that I'll zoom out a little bit so I have this preview okay what we need now is just to make like the the map is blinking before being fully highlighted so for that I will work on the mask which is Egypt here T to call the opacity setting and make it 100% here we'll use it manually here okay And the first frame will be zero. I will preview. Okay, that looks nice. So, okay, Control A to select all the layers, U to close all the layers. I will duplicate this adjustment layer and it will take the second map as uh, highlighted as a mask for that I will rename it highlight Tunisia same thing for the map of France this one highlight France Okay, this one and rename it if you want to rename a layer just hit enter Australia and at the end highlight USA okay as you see the map is becoming more and more darker just because there are a lot of adjustment layer overlaying so what I will do now just I'll focus more on Egypt 
and if you if I want to move the camera so in order because I have the camera already I have keyframes of the camera so just I will add a new a new null object uh, make it 3d and after that I will link my camera to this null object.